Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jonathan. I hope you're all doing very well. Today what we're going to be covering is custom export configurations inside of Substance Painter. So you're going to find yourself in certain projects to where you're only going to need to export certain maps. Um, so the beauty of this is it gives you control to export only uh, certain maps that you need. Um, for example, right now I'm currently working on projects that only require uh, diffuse and normal maps. So what I can do then is create a custom preset that's only going to output those maps because um, why would I want to output you know in the default mode here um, and have all these extra maps that I'm not going to be using. I don't need a height, I don't need a roughness, I don't need a metallic. So this gives me control to keep things clean. You know, time is money and it, it keeps navigation straightforward, saves hard drive space, etc. So I'm just going to dive right into this here and I guess for beginners here, we go right to File, Export Textures, Control Shift E is the hotkey. And we're gonna open this baby up. And what we do is jump over to configuration here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you two different setups here. Um, one for diffuse normal output, and one for a V-Ray output. Now, the beauty of these new versions of Substance Painter is that it now has some default V-Ray exports. So, a lot of this is still at your fingertips. But there's certain exports that, that I'm going to want, you know, and, and some maybe I don't want. Like, I normally don't have emissive stuff, emissive textures uh, for every project I'm doing. So I'm going to not want to include that. So again, you know, just keeping things clean, crisp, um, not exporting stuff I'm not going to use. So, and, and, and I'd like to inc include a, an aiming occlusion as well. So always a great map to have whether you use it or not. That's one I always roll with is, is some AL. So again, let's go over to configuration here, and we're just going to click this little plus, this little plus sign. It's going to create one on the bottom here. We're going to rename it. So we're going to call diffuse normal, and we go over here. And now, with what we're working with today, the only RGB channels that we're going to be using is going to be the diffuse and the normal. So when I go through the V-Ray process, we'll have uh, middleness. Glossiness, roughness, bump, those are all great channels. So um, we'll get there. Um, so let's go and hit RGB here. We're gonna want a delete name. And we go over, now we go over to this little dollar sign and it's gonna ask us what, uh, where do we wanna get our base uh, name and convention from? Do, do we want it to be our project file name, our, our mesh, the actual, the imported mesh, or the texture set? I always like to go with the texture set and then I'll create a suffix on my own here. So. Um, so we're going to go, go do texture set and then we're going to go add our own suffix, diffuse. And then let's create another one, sorry. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go texture set and normal. Make it spell right. So now we have these two uh, created here. Now let's plop some maps here. Now for these two, we're going to want to go over to converted maps. We're going to drag our diffuse. And we're going to want to get it from the RGB channel. Obviously, this is an R RGB output, so we're not going to, I mean, gray is not going to work or an individual channel. So we want all channels RGB. And now for our normal map, we want to grab the direct X over here in converted maps. We're going to drag that and plop it. And boom, we're now done. So very simple, very straightforward. Now let's create another one. Let's go with the V-Ray process. Now this will be a little more in depth. So we'll have all these extra channels. So let's delete that there, and we're going to call this one V-Ray Custom. And uh, same thing here, let's go with an RGB for our diffuse. I oh, have to delete that manually, I wish you just overwrite it. So we're going to go diffuse, or base color if that's your preferred naming convention. And um, let's create, let's just, we'll create our channels first and we'll drag our maps in. So um, let's go with our gray maps, we're going to call, oh, Get ahead of myself here. I'm gonna call this one roughness. Do another gray. Call this metallic. Metallic or metalness. Call this one glossiness. Let's add a bump map to take the height value. And um, what I always like to include is an ambient occlusion. 
Love me some AL. You guys like yourself some Amy Declusion? Love me some Amy Declusion. Haters out there can hate. Always give me some AL, baby. <laughs> um, and I believe that's it. We're going to add our normal map to finish here. So that's, uh, again, our only other RGB. Texture set. Normal. All right, so we're looking good. We're looking fresh. Now, all right, again, let's grab our diffuse from the converted map side here. Drag it, drop it, RGB channels. Roughness, we're going to want from input. Input map. Oh, from gray channel, sorry. And metallic. A wand right here. And glossiness, that's one we're going to want from the converted map side. Bump. Um, we're actually going to take from the height, right here, gray channel, ambient occlusion, booyah kacha, and normal again, direct X from converted maps, RGB channels. So very beautiful, and that's it. Again, it saves itself automatically, and when you um, reload Substance Painter, you know, again, once you create these, like fire up at the bottom, but they'll sort by name the next time you load it up. So um, don't don't fret if you can't find it right away. It's at the bottom. All right, so let's uh, let's do a quick text, uh, test export here, just uh, make sure everything's shiny. We're gonna export this stuff out right to the desktop. All right, let's check it out. Here's our maps. There we go. Amy occlusion, well, normal, diffuse, metallic. Good stuff, guys. All right, I hope that helps you out. Um, and and feel free to comment on 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 future content you'd like to see from me. I'm still kind of paving my way in this stuff. I'm finding I love giving back. You know, I've taken in so much free information via YouTube and, and so much free education that um, this is my way of giving back and, and I love it. So when I have people interacting with things and learning, um, it's just a major blessing to me. So hit me up with a comment on future stuff you'd like to see and, and maybe I can help you out. You know, I only know so much. <laughs> I'm not going to be pretentious at all. So uh, I'm learning and but this is the beauty we have community we can learn and grow together man so again I hope this helps and get out there and create some cool stuff man love what you do and do it so alright take care guys